The milking barn is a harvesting facility for milk. Keep in mind that cleanliness is of the utmost importance. Always wash and sterilize your boots before entering the barn. Keep walkways clear of debris and moisture. Hoses and other obstacles should be moved along the walls and out of the way of pedestrians. Safety footwear, such as non-slip boots with cushioning to reduce fatigue, are recommended. Eye protection is recommended when milking. When working around the crowd gate, use extreme caution. The crowd gate automatically moves and you can become penned between the cattle and the gate if you are not careful. There are many variations to the standard milking routine, but most dairies follow roughly the same procedure. Disinfecting with a pre-dip or spray, stripping some milk to check quality, wiping, milking, takeoff, and disinfecting with a post-dip before the cow is released. Milkers should be aware of the danger of being kicked, especially by inexperienced heifers. Avoid being loud in the milking parlor. When dipping the teats, be careful not to be splashed in the eyes with the chemical. Be cautious when using disinfectants. Protective clothing is recommended, such as an apron, gloves, and slip-resistant boots. Remember, always wash boots before entering the barn. Keep walkways clear of debris and moisture. Use caution around crowd gates. Watch out for kicking. Use care with disinfectants. Wear recommended clothing. Follow your dairy's recommended milking routine. Chemicals can be dangerous. When not in use, all chemicals should be stored in a locked, purpose-built chemical locker or shed. Chemicals used on the dairy should always be inaccessible to children. Only authorized employees who have been trained should be allowed to handle chemicals. They can be inhaled, absorbed through the skin, or ingested. Always follow directions on labels. Store chemicals in designated areas only. Wear appropriate clothing when working with chemicals. Wear gloves and a mask if required. Always wash your hands after working with any chemicals, even if you wear gloves. Veterinary chemicals that require refrigeration should be kept in a separate refrigerator that is not used for food and drinks. Acids and alkalis should be clearly labeled and distinguished from each other. Never mix acids and alkalis. You could risk an explosion. Pouring chemicals from a drum risks spills and splashing. It is far safer to use pumps, siphons, or gravity taps to extract the contents of a drum. Better still would be the installation of a closed chemical delivery system that removes the need for direct contact. If a chemical splashes in your eye, flush immediately with water. Remember, always follow directions on labels. Store chemicals in designated areas only. 
Wear gloves and a mask if required. Always wash your hands after working with any chemicals, even if you wear gloves. Do not store food with chemicals. If a chemical splashes in your eye, flush immediately with water. The miracle of birth is an everyday occurrence on most large dairy farms, but it is still an uplifting and important event. Your supervisor should give you training and guidelines on observing and assisting cows as a calf. Most calf deaths on arrival, or DOAs, are due to injuries or suffocation resulting from calving, delayed calving, or injury from improper assistance. Knowing when and how to assist can make a big difference in the number of healthy calves on the dairy. Remember the large majority of cows and heifers will calf without any assistance. The only assistance required is to make sure cow and calf are okay. Always follow your dairy's specific protocols. If it is determined that assistance is needed, follow these tips. For yours and the cow's safety and well-being, make sure the cow is properly restrained. For both assistant and cow, always be clean, be gentle, and use a lot of lube. If a forced extraction is needed, make sure that there is sufficient room in the birth canal, the calf is lined up correctly, and use ample lubrication. If the calf jack or come along is used properly, it is the right tool for the job. Remember, when using any one of these, it is easy to exert five times as much force as two adult people can produce. You can do a lot of damage or a lot of good with the calf jack. Follow procedures for use of the calf jack or come along at your dairy. Proper application of an obstetrical chain is as shown here. Only exert force in synchrony with the contractions. Pull as you normally would, slightly down in an angle towards the udder. Follow protocol for the calf and the cow once the calf is born. When moving the calf, make sure to use proper lifting techniques. The calf must be moved to a shelter and given proper care. When taking the calf, watch out because some cows will get defensive. When lifting the calf for transport, keep your back straight and lift with your legs. Gently place the calf into the trailer to prevent calf injury. After the birth, monitor the cows for signs of weakness, which could mean that she needs calcium or dextrose. Remember, Follow your dairy's protocol on calving assistance. Cleanliness and lubrication are important. Make sure the cow is properly restrained and you have adequate space to work. Only assist the cow when necessary and only pull when the cow is straining. Watch out for defensive cows. After delivery, make sure the calf is breathing Ensure it gets colostrum and follow your dairy's protocol. Lift the calf gently with proper lifting technique. Monitor the cow for signs of weakness. Following are some tips for proper calf care. A clean calf is a healthy calf. Feed and water given to calves should always be clean. Hutches or pins should be clean and dry. Calves should have overhead shelter and a windbreak. 
The person that is feeding calves must be aware of the importance of cleanliness of all feeding equipment to prevent the spread of disease. Bottle wagons are notoriously easy to flip. Take care in driving and turning corners. Never let the wagon run without a driver. The calf feeding equipment should be washed, sanitized, and dried after every feeding. Rinse bottles with lukewarm water. Then, using hot water with bleach, fill the bottles and dump the nipples into the bleach solution. Empty the cleaning solutions and let everything dry thoroughly. Take care not to get burned by hot water. Wear proper clothing and eye protection. Remember, a clean calf is a healthy calf. Take care not to flip a bottle wagon. Feeding equipment must be washed sanitized and dried after every feeding. Take care not to get burned by hot water. Wear proper clothing and eye protection when cleaning bottles.